If you've ever had problems connecting panels to transformers or transformers to switchboards, then this video will be extremely helpful to you. The specific case that was brought up by one of the viewers, thank you Kylie for this question, is how to deal with a 12240 split phase panel. For example, here, look at this one. Down here, we have a 12240 volt single phase three wire panel, like a residential panel. It needs to connect through a transformer to the 480 volt switchboard. First of all, we need a panel board that is 12240. Now I show how to create this panel in other videos, which I will link below. And even in my most recent residential full project series, I show how to create this panel. It's just created from the out of the box 120 volt single phase panel. We convert it to a 12240. So down here in the distribution system on the right, you can see that we have a 12240 single phase distribution system. How can I connect that to a transformer? Let's look at the transformer now. Typical transformer is a 12208 secondary. I need a 240 volt secondary, but not a three phase 240 volt secondary. Remember, we're dealing with a single phase panel. It may help if I go through some of the very technical background of this, because frankly, I realize that many of you doing these electrical drawings are not electrical experts. Many of you, I know, are drafting for multiple trades, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, maybe even some architecture or structural, and this is not in your wheelhouse to get this technical. I get it. So let me try to help explain this technically, and then at the end, I'll give you a kind of a checklist that you can go through to make sure these are set up properly without having to do all of the heavy lifting technically to figure it out. So let me show you a wire by wire diagram of this kind of single phase connection. If you look at the panel down here, we have a 12240 volt single phase panel. Now this gets confusing because there's actually phase A and phase B inside the panel. These are bus bars that all the branch circuit breakers connect to if you look inside the panel. And we have the main circuit breaker shown up top. So we have a phase A and a phase B, and then we have the neutral. Now we're not showing the ground bar, we're not showing the ground connections here. It's irrelevant to this Revit discussion. But what we have is only two wires plus a neutral. So we have a three wire system up here, and it connects to one coil of a transformer. Now it's center tapped to get the neutral, but line to line is 240 volts. Line to neutral is half of that, 120 and 120. This is just one single coil of secondary on a transformer. And then on the primary of the transformer, the way it's fed is 480 volt. And it is also just a single coil that's fed with two hot wires. No neutral here because we derive a neutral on the secondary. We don't need the neutral. There's nowhere to connect the neutral wire on the primary. And this is fed with those, from those two wires through a circuit breaker to that 480 volt three phase switchboard. Now we're only using phase A and B to get this connection. So the reason I show you all this is to narrow this down into the distribution systems that are needed to make these connections work. They're not out of the box, so we have to do some modifications. So the first thing that happens is if I try to connect this 120, 240 volt single phase panel to this transformer with the power, I do a drop down, I get none. There's nothing available. Why is that? Well, the first reason here is that our transformer is not set up with a 12240 volt secondary. Revit is very careful to make sure that these systems have to match or at least be compatible before it will even let you connect them. And this is where a lot of the frustration comes from. In fact, many people, myself included early on, would get to this point and just throw up our hands and say, forget this connection stuff. Let me just show some symbols on a sheet and call it good. We want to actually make this a logically interconnected system. So we've got to fix these connection issues. We need to create a new type of transformer that is set up with the voltages that we need on that secondary. So I don't want to change this one. I want to create a different one. So I'm going to duplicate this transformer and I'm going to call this 12240 to indicate the secondary. Now, as you'll realize that the secondary voltage of the transformer is not actually a type parameter. It's not here in this list. The primary is, but not the secondary. So calling it a different type really isn't needed. However, I think it's confusing if it says 208 up here instead of 240, even though we're going to change it in this instance parameter. So let's go down to the instance parameter and change the secondary to a 120, 240 single phase secondary. Now, here we go, we get an error message. Selected distribution system type is invalid. Why is it invalid? 
I have the 122 40 volt secondary distribution system set up. Why is it invalid? So to understand why it's invalid, we have to understand some electrical technical theory here. What's going on is Revit won't let us apply a single phase secondary with a three phase primary transformer. So we have to fix not only the secondary of this transformer, but also the primary. But what that also means is we need to have that single phase primary distribution system set up. That would be a 480 volt single phase distribution system, as we see here in this diagram. And we don't have that set up. So let's go back to our Manage tab, MEP settings, electrical settings, distribution. We need to add now an actual 480 volt single phase distribution system. When we do that, hit the add button. We're gonna call this 480 volt, 480 single to stay with their nomenclature. Single phase, it is two wires. We're not bringing a neutral. The line to line voltage is going to be 480 volts. There's no line to ground voltage and it even blanks it out for us because it doesn't exist. We have no neutral. So simple as that, we've created a 480 volt single phase distribution system. So we go into our transformer, edit type, and this time we need to change the primary number of poles now to two instead of three. We're only connecting the two hots, as you recall, in that wire by wire. So here's the key, two wires. So now we should be able to set the primary distribution system up down here, there, 480 single, it found it. If not, you can always select it. And that's the only one that's available for this two wire system. Now let's see if we can set the secondary distribution to a 12240 single, apply that, no errors. Good, it works. Now let's see if we can connect this upstream, the power button's an upstream connection, to this 480 volt three phase switchboard. Let's see, look at that. And we're actually in switchboard B in this scenario. So there, that is what it takes for these connections to work. The connections have to be set up and the distribution system has to be set up properly. So as I mentioned, let me go ahead and give you that list here. So in summary, you wanna make sure you have a 12240 volt single phase distribution system under your modify MEP settings. You want to create a 12240 volt single phase panel board with that single phase distribution system applied to it. Then you want to create a 480 volt single phase distribution system in the modify MEP settings. And finally, create a new transformer type with the 480 volt two pole primary or two wire, a 480 volt single phase distribution system applied to it, and the 12240 volt single phase secondary distribution system applied to it. So those four steps should help you then logically interconnect your entire system together. And to get further in the weeds about all of these kinds of Revit distribution system issues, watch this video that's on the screen now. You can learn about double lugs and through feed lugs and all the different kinds of distribution setups you can do in Revit.